Hey, what's up you guys? Ash here. Some Vita juice! Some Vita related news has been surfacing lately for the past few days, and I want to update you all, as I always do. So let's get started. A PS Vita PS4 bundle on Amazon.com was listed and then taken down. The bundle was priced for £499, which is over $800. US Expensive, isn't it? But I'm sure something like this would be around, what, $500 US instead of 8 it wouldn't make sense to have it at 600 because you can buy the two products separately and get it for the same amount. So 500 would seem reasonable. But why would Amazon take the listing down? Perhaps it was an error on their end? Maybe Sony wanted to announce it first, E3 is coming, so maybe they wanted to announce it there? Who knows? I believe a PS4, PS Vita bundle would be cool. They do work with one another and I am sure Sony is coming up ways to add more to what they have with the two already on the list. The PS4 sells great and at this point I believe a bundle would do just fine. Though there is a side of me saying that the PS Vita doesn't need the PS4. <laughs> Moving on, a Ratchet & Clank Trilogy listing was spotted on a UK store for June 20th. Trilogies, collections, or what have you, have been making its way to the Vita recently. A God of War and Sly Cooper collection are on its way to North America very soon. Sony hasn't mentioned anything about the trilogy, though it would be cool. However, I would really like a Kingdom Hearts collection for the Vita over this. I did a report a while ago about Ratchet & Clank Into the Nexus being rated by the North American ESRB rating system for the PS Vita. And now this, which would be two separate titles. Sony hasn't mentioned anything about the trilogy or Into the Nexus, but when the ESRB rates a game, that means it's most likely happening. I guess we just need more time to know everything. E3 is around the corner, like I've said, so I am positive we will know something. Next, Borderlands 2 gets some new screenshots, gameplay, and a release date. The last gameplay video was shown at GDC 2014 and it showed some visible bugs that needed to be attended to before launch, which we were notified that it will be refined before launch. And that launch date is May 13th for the game. And if you would like to get it early and are interested in the Borderlands 2 Vita bundle, it'll be available on May 6th, which is when my giveaway ends. Coincidence? Nope. I saw that the bundle will be available on the 6th via Amazon.com. So in the new video, as well as the GDC video, you'll notice that enemies explode. Why? Well, to reduce stress on the Vita so it can run smoother. They have taken out mountain ranges and limited enemies on the screen. Example, on the PS3, you'll see 10 enemies on the screen. While on the Vita, same section, you'll see 6. So does this make the game easier on the Vita? What are your thoughts on that? Textures take a while to load, load screens are still long, and the frame rate still drops. But overall, the game was set to run a lot smoother than GDC 2014. Next and last, we have made top 4 again. In weekly hardware sales, almost 80,000 units were sold. We are neck and neck with the Xbox One, which is in third place with over 90,000 units sold. This chart kind of hurts to see that the US, my home, doesn't support the Vita as much. 6,000 units sold in North America? That's horrible. But I'm sure Sony is aware of this and are coming up with ways to entice US gamers. So that's it with the news. Thanks for watching and always remember to take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.